This week's word of the week is going to be rod oven. I actually already did this, tried to put it out Sunday, and the SD card screwed up. So that's why I'm doing this on a Wednesday. Uh, but anyways, rod oven, when you're dealing with the low hydrogen electrodes, that's most of what we thought of as like a 7018. That's typically what people think of. 7018 is very common. It's a low hydrogen electrode. When you crack the hermetically sealed container, you have to, by the code, immediately put it in a rod oven. Now, what does immediately mean? That can be a number of things. Um, it's actually defined on these two specifications, A5 and 1 and A5.5, and that's the specification for uh, different low hydrogen electrodes. In the D1.1 structure steel welding code, which is what we kind of use, it's defined on page 208, table 5.1, under allowable atmospheric exposure of low hydrogen electrodes. It gives you the exact amount of time that those low hydrogen electrodes can be out in the atmosphere um, without going into a rod of them before you have to do a baking process. So we'll kind of go down here. Uh, the rod oven has to be greater than or equal to 250 degrees. So it can be 250 degrees or higher. Um, it can be rebaked one time. So if something happens, you go past that you know, atmospheric exposure limit, um, you can rebake it, but you can only do it one time before the electrode is, um, by code, no good anymore. So we'll go over here, um, 150 degrees Fahrenheit. That is um, what our rod right oven out in the lab is. So it goes from 100 to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. So when you're looking at these uh, baking temperatures down here, and you can see the A5.1 rods, you have to have two hours, 500 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can barely make the requirements on this. Um, A5.5 has to be one hour, 700 to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a little bit you know, higher temperature, less time. Uh, but this is what the code calls out for baking knives. So depending on whether you're using an A51 specification or an A55 specification, it's different temperatures and times. So what we're gonna do here at the end is go out and actually look at our rod oven. And I'll show you the different compartments. Uh, they're pretty typical. They usually have different sections. So you put, you know, usually it's different diameter rods. That's what we use it for. So 332nd or 8th inch or 532nd. Or if you had different types of low hydrogen electrodes, there's different spots for them. So we'll actually go out and look at the rod oven now and uh, show you what it, uh, what it looks like. This is uh, what our rod oven looks like. And you can see just above the dry rod little logo there. It's labeled 7018 because that's what we use, 7018. So um, that's typically what people think of when they think of a low hydrogen electrode. There are a lot of other low hydrogen electrodes. But what we'll do now is we'll kind of um, we'll open this baby up and you can see what the inside looks like. This is what the inside looks like. It's got different compartments for different diameters of electrodes. You know, somebody put some cans in there. I think they were trying to weld cans together so they put them in there to dry them out. But the name of the game here is to get rid of any hydrogen. Hydrogen causes hydrogen induced cracking. So that's why we have this rod oven. So we're going to get out of here because I just fixed my fan boat. I'm going to take it for a cruise. So until next week, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld.